Long cooked pork belly with preserved mustard. Say that three times fast. Love bacon? Of course you do. This is one of the most simple and easy recipes to make. It'll seem like it took forever to prepare. But fool your friends and family with this delicious dish. This recipe utilizes Chinese sweet pickled mustard cabbage called mu choy. Mu choy is reserved or pickled Chinese cabbage that has undergone a fermentation process. You can try and find it in your local Asian supermarket, ask the employee if you're not sure, and pray he or she speaks English. Now down to the recipe. Prepare mu choy by unfolding them and washing them. Oh, make sure you wash your hands before doing this. Next, cut into thick slices. Dish and drain. Now for the bacon. You'll cut these into thick slices as well. About half an inch. Mmm, bacon. Take two cloves of garlic and mince them up. Smell your fingers afterwards if you hate yourself. Put in the chopped bacon and garlic into the pot. Now here's the most important step. Turn on the fire. Yeah, it's happened to me before, but that's for another video. When things start sizzling, keep stirring, making sure the bacon doesn't stick. Nobody likes scrubbing a pot for hours. Then let it cook some more. Then keep stirring. Now for the seasoning. Add light soy sauce. Salt. Sesame oil. Sugar. And dark soy sauce. Dark, like how I like my coffee. And women. Then stir it some more. Now you'll add the mui choy. Cover the bacon up. Make sure your meat isn't showing, which is what she said. Then mix it up a bit. Finally, add water. Be sure to fill it up to the top, or just enough to cover the mui choy. Let it simmer for 45 minutes. Here's a perfect opportunity to file your taxes. Be sure to account for all your dependents. You also want veggies. How's bok choy sound? Voila! Fiber for your diet. I think it's done. Let's plate it up. Hopefully you found this video useful and will try it on your own. If you need more information about this recipe, check out the information box for the list of ingredients. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, want a particular recipe, or have a snide remark regarding my cooking skills. Thanks for watching.